Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, I want to show you this device right here. This is a DIY audio signal tester that you can use to do some signal tracing. Uh, if you have an audio project that you're working on, for example, I'm working on this new tube amp and I'm having some problems diagnosing uh, what's going on. You need to be able to track the signal path through the chain and figure out where that signal path is being disrupted in some way. You can use this tool to diagnose that really quickly. So I want to show you how I build this tool and then how I use it and all the really cool things it can do. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, I've got the tool laid out in front of you. Um, this is actually something I got in a kit from uh, a BYOC pedal build many, many years ago. But basically, this is just a quarter inch jack. You could use any quarter inch jack. And then it's got this plastic insulation. You could use heat shrink over it or whatever you want, but you need to start with a quarter inch jack. Then on one end, you've got a black cable that's on the ground lug that has a little clip. And you can use this to clip onto the chassis for your ground connection. And you've got a red cable here. In line with the red cable is a capacitor. This is a um, 0.022 microfarad at 630 volt capacitor. This is a coupling cap. And the idea here is you want to be allowing any of the audio, the, the alternating current, the AC signal, to pass through this device, but you want to block any DC. So the purpose of this is to provide decoupling, to block any of the direct current, the high voltage DC that might be in the amplifier from going further down the chain. And on the other end, I've got this guy here. First of all, I've got this plastic uh, sheathing, and then I'll just a little probe here. Now, you don't necessarily need to use this. You could look, just use um, the end of a wire or, or some other device that you want to use. Uh, but this is, this is what I've got here. And uh, this just screws onto here and allows me to, I can actually take this and safely, you know, it's plastic, so it's insulated. It's not going to conduct any electricity there. Um, and then I can use this to insert my signal wherever you want. You could also use alligator clips on here. And I might at sometimes, you know, clip an alligator clip onto this and then clip that on elsewhere. So you've got a lot of different options. So um, once you've built this tool, it's pretty simple. You get a guitar cord that plugs in here. The other end of that guitar cord is running into this little practice amp that I've got here on my bench. And you can hear if I touch it with my finger, you can hear it popping. So that's, that's how I know that it's live. So now my Whatever signal that I put into the tip of this little signal probe tester uh, will come out through the guitar amp. Okay, so now what you're looking at here is the input of my tube amp. I'm going to take my cell phone and I'm going to use it to uh, simply play some music or you could even get a signal generator app on your phone. And then I've got a cord here that can plug into my headphone jack. And then I've just got a quarter inch converter. So that goes into the input of the amplifier. So now I'm using, um, I'm just gonna play some music. So again, my cell phone is inputting the input signal into the front of the amplifier. And then I'm gonna track to see where that input signal goes with my signal probe. Okay, I've got the ground lug here connected to ground in my amplifier. I've got like a preamp ground bus here that I'm just connecting it. You could also connect it to like a bare spot on the chassis or a, a, a screw or something. And then I've got my probe here. I'm going to turn my little practice amp on. And I'm just going to take this probe and put it right on the input. So you can hear there's my music playing through just fine. So now I'm going to go here to see if it makes it to... Okay, so far so good. There's the grid of my first preamp tube. Okay, so now uh, my amplifier is plugged into a load box. I'm going to plug the power of my amplifier in. I turn the amplifier on. I'm going to get my little probe again and just see if I can't follow it. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So, what I, this first place here is the grid of the input tube. Then I'm going to go to the plate. You can hear it gets amplified extremely loud. So that tells me that stage is definitely working well. 
Let's just keep following through them. So I'm going to the output of the plate. It's super loud. Okay, so now I'm at my gain control. You can see that's working just fine. And I'm just gonna continue following. So there you go. There's a little demonstration of this little audio probe signal generator. Um, basically, you just keep following all the way through the signal until you find a place where your input signal isn't working anymore. Uh, it's a really handy little device to have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. See you soon.